بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Continuation of the chest imaging made easy course Today's lecture is about hidden areas in the chest x-ray الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل What are the hidden areas and the definition of the hidden areas in the chest X-ray? The definition of the hidden areas, there are some areas in the chest X-ray need to be, need special attention after systematic review because the pathology in these areas can easily be overlooked or mixed, miss, missed. These areas are include the apical zone. This is the apical zone. This is the apical zone. Apical zone, right and left. Hilar zones, right and left. Also the mediastinal areas, retrocardiac area, left and right, and retrodiaphragmatic areas right and left also we have the not to miss others corner of the film these are corner of the film are very important especially in some of the board examination like jordanian board and frcr and our board in radiology apical region or apical zone the lungs abysses are well known areas of missed pathology for missed pathology the lung apex on chest x-ray is traditionally considered the region above the inferior margin of the clavicle lung parenchyma in this area is normally overlapped with other structure include the first and second rib and the clavicle and vascular control of the upper mediastinum. Here are some examples. We have the patient with thickening of the right apex as compared to the left one and this is the abica thick apical cap. Mass lesion cannot be excluded in this area, so need further evaluation. Also, the patient has white cervical ribs. The bone are intact in this patient. Here, another patient with patient with mass lesion in the medial aspect of the clavicle, and it is overlapped by the clavicle, as we see here in the magnified view and that mass this is above to be with, with lung biopsy that mass above to be a lung cancer and this patient has it is a female patient with smoking and the cancer is adenocarcinoma in this patient here another patient with you see the both abysses here there is some density in the right apical zone and that density compared to the left side and this is the magnified view and this is a mass lesion in the in that region and this is the ct scan of this patient and this is the mass lesion above to be a cancer.
here, this is another patient. We have increased density on the left apex compared to the right apex. Here we see the bones. Here we see the bones and the first and second rib are not well seen. Uh, and this is the CT scan of this patient. And we see large mass, destructive mass with destruction of the ribs, adjacent rib, even the adjacent vertebra. And this mass also lung cancer. The second hidden area is hyla zone. The hyla, as we know, it is a tricky part of the chest X-ray to evaluate. Anatomically, as we discussed in previously, the hyla composed of main pulmonary artery and veins and major bronchi and lymph node. Pulmonary arteries contribute the majority of the radiographic density of the hilum. The superior pulmonary vein make a smaller contribution. Hyla should be indistinguishable in size and density. We should look for the shape of the hyla density and the size and the control of the pulmonary artery to recognize the hyla abnormalities. There are numerous causes for hyla asymmetry. A high level of suspicion is need. <coughs> Sorry is needed to diagnose hyla abnormalities in chest X-ray. Here patient, we have patient with uh, 65 years smoker. As we see here, the right hilum is compared to the left hilum. It is more dense and it is more elevation. And so we suspect mass lesion in the right hilum. And <clears throat> on the CT scan of this patient, we have mass in the right hilum region and with mass in the right hilum region. And also it is composed the pulmonary artery in this mass. And this, this is above to be a lung cancer also. Here we have patient, young patient with uh, low grade fever. As we see here, the high love regions are enlarged, especially the left one. We see something density here on the left side and the high love are enlarged. And this patient has uh, fever and we see the CT scan of this patient and we see some lymph node on the both hyla region in this patient. These are the lymph node and uh, this hyla lymph node in this patient, hyla in this coronal causing some conversion of the left main bronchus and this above to be a stage two sarcoidosis, some scattered nodules noted around the bronchovascular mar mar uh, margin, uh, marking. Here, another patient we have the patient, old patient, 74 years with hemoptysis. Compare the left hilum with the right hilum. The right hilum is more dense compared to the left one. And it also appears a little bit enlarged. 
on the lateral artistic sphere, we see that overlying mass lesion of the la of the right hilum, and it is located posteriorly in the apical segment of the right above lobe. With the contrast CT scan of this patient, this is the mass, lobulated mass, uh, and the biopsy of the mass, it is, it is uh, uh, adenocarcinoma of the lung. Here, this is another patient, old patient, 86 years old. We have a symmetry of the hilar region. The right hilum is more dense compared to the right one, to, sorry, to the left one. And it is uh, more dense. And also we have a, a, another lesion here in the retrocardiac region. This one evolved to be hiatus hernia, and this one we evaluated with the CT scan, as we see here, this is a mass lesion here, a mass lesion and biopsy of that mass lesion. Uh, it is evolved to be a tumor. In the, this example, the hilum is dense. We call it this dense hilum sign. Also, in this patient, also dense hilar sign. Mediastinal area, we have the right baratracal stripe. And as we see here, the baratracal stripe on the right side, it should not exceed four millimeter. And we see here mass lesion in the superior mediastinum on the right side, we have mass lesion and mass lesion, and this is due to uh, Hodgkin lymphoma. Here, another patient with thickening of the right barostracal stripe, and we have also, uh, uh, also widening of the mediastinum, our, our lateral to the aortic knuckle and our pulmonary region. And this patient with the CT scan has lymphadenopathy. And this is this due to lymphadenopathy in this patient and it proved to be sarcoidosis. Here, another patient with uh, right paratracheal stripe thickening, and this patient also the right hilum is enlarged and thickened. With the CT scan, we see lymph node here, and lymph node here, and subcarinal lymph node, and uh, also the biopsy of this patient proved to be small cell lung cancer, and uh, also the patient has multiple brain metastasis. Baraspinal regions, one of the hidden areas. Also, we have this patient, uh, 36 uh, years old female patient with uh, as we see here, widening of the baraspinal region, uh, the lower thoracic area, and the patient uh, also has a spinectomy. So we think we should think with the patient has uh, uh, extra medullary hemorrhosis, and these are the baraspinal masses. Retrocardiac region, also pathology should be routinely sought in the retrocardiac region in well exposed just X-ray. With correct windowing, the radiologist should closely assess the retrocardiac region and a certain normal lung marking 
are seen throughout the medial part of the left hemidiaphragm. Lung cancer consolidation of the left lower lobe are all diagnosable on the frontal radiograph. As we see here, the patient has uh, cardiac enlargement and pleural effusion on the right side and minimal effusion on the left side with thickening of the uh, blower laterally here and here. And there is also, we missed the, the bronchovascular marking on the retrocardiac region, suspecting mass lesion. With the CT scan, we see enhancing mass lesion and the biopsy of the mass, it is supposed to be mesothelioma. Here, another patient with the right uh, retrocardiac mass lesion seen on the right side. And the uh, CT scan of this patient, we have uh, medial basal segment of the right lower lobe. It is uh, collapsed or atelectasis with some blue effusion with the bronchoscope is negative for mass lesion and it is due to mucus blank. Here a patient with mass retrocardiac mass lesion on the left side here and it is seen well on this penetrated uh, uh, view as we see here and the uh, CT scan of this patient, we have a mass lesion with calcification, and this is a benign mass lesion, and this is a hematoma, this popcorn calcification. Little diaphragmatic area, it is also the lungs, it is seen below the diaphragm, and we should not miss that and look for these areas, looking for pathology in order not to miss this region. And here, this patient, we have this patient, we have density on the, below the right hemidiaphragm here, and the CT scan of this patient, we have a mass lesion in the right lower lobe due to lung cancer. Also, we have this patient has mass lesion in the right, below the right hemidiaphragm and large hiatus hernia in this patient. And the mass lesion seen here due to round atelectasis with comatal appearance and the bronchiectetic changes. Here, this is another patient with a mass with uh, density below the right hemidiaphragm with the uh, CT scan. On this patient, we have consolidation of the right lower lobe with some effusion. Other areas, we have the film corners. The film corners, it is important also, and not to miss any pathology, also ribs are uh, one, of the, one of the hidden area and also the soft tissue, also one of the hidden areas. Let us see some examples on this. We have patient, this patient has uh, all the fracture of the right clavicle and the, also the patient has a vascular necrosis of the left humeral head. Here, this is a patient with old humeral head fracture. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa astaghfiruka wa atubu alaik. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.